Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you most expected and most likely questions you are going to see from this NECO 2025 biology specimen. If you are joining us for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications because you have a lot to gain. With no further ado, let's get right into the specimen. Specimen A is house fly. May be asked to state one economic importance of specimen A. Answer. Number one, it transmits diseases. It causes food contamination. It causes food deterioration. Specimen B, spider. May be asked to state one economic importance of specimen B. Number one, it's pest control. Now biological control and ecosystem balance. Specimen C. Pride of Barbados flower. Maybe ask the following questions. Number one, identify specimen C without reason. Answer, is a flower, a pride of Barbados flower. Number two, state the dispersal mechanism of specimen C. Answer, explosive mechanism. Question three, specimen C is a flower. Remove all the stamens and three petals. From specimen C, leaving the special petals. Make a diagram 10 to 12 centimeters long of the remaining parts of specimen C and label fully. Answer. You can see the pride of Barbados, the way it was removed, the petals, and how you can label it fully. Candidate, take note. Question 4. What type of ovary is present in specimen C? Answer. Superior over. Question 4 II. Give one reason for your answer. Answer. The ovary is located at a higher position than receptacle or on top of receptacle. Question 5. Describe the petals and sepals of specimen C. Answer. Sepals are of the same color as petals. Sepals are similar than petals in size. Petals are fan-shaped, brightly colored, standard petals. It's tabular with marks. One sepals is Q. And this is how you can describe the petal and sepals of a pride of Barbados flower. Question 6. What is the function of the special petal? Answer. It guides incest or B to the nutter. Question 7. State three features of specimen C which led to the success of flowering plant. Answer. Number 1. Brightly colored petals attract insects which pollinate. Number 2. Large petals which are easily seen. Number 3. Sticky stigma to hold pollen grain for pollination. Number 4. Presence of nutter it attracts insects which enhance cross-pollination, leading to variety of survival of the specimen. Specimen D, being seed. You may be asked the following questions. Number one, identify specimen D without reason. Answer, being seed. Number two, state the agricultural classification of specimen D. Answer, it is a legume. Question three. What are the advantages of cultivating specimen D? Answer. Number one, it acts as a crop cover to prevent erosion. Number two, it enriches the soil. Question four, state one main classes of food of specimen D. Answer, protein. Question five, state the functions of the food classes named above. Answer. Bodybuilding, replacement of warm out tissues. Candidates, take note. Students should take note of the following questions. Give four differences between specimen C and D. Answer. Number one, specimen C has no scar, while specimen D has a scar. Number two, specimen C remains of cells are present. Why specimen D remains of cell are absent? Number three, specimen C has fruit wall or pericarp. 
Why specimen D has seed coat? Number four. In specimen C, microfill is absent, while in specimen D, microfill is present. Number five. In specimen C, there is presence of stack, while in specimen D, there is no stack. Candidate, take note. Specimen E, butterfly. Question one. Identify specimen E without reason. Answer, butterfly. Question two. State the phylum to which specimen E belonged with reason. Answer, anthropoda. With reason. I. Segmented bodies. I. I. Jointed appendages. I. 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 Presence of chitinous exoskeleton made of chitin. I. V. Bilateral symmetric. Question 3. State three observable structural features of specimen E. Answer. Number 1. Presence of proboscis. Number 2. Wind is membranous, that is soft. Number three, winds are pigmented, that means they are equally colored. Number four, abdomen is hairy. Candidates, take note. Make a diagram 8 to 10 cm long of the dosal view of specimen E and label fully. I can see that specimen E is... Butterfly, you can see that, and there are some things you must note when making diagram or when drawing this specimen E or any other specimen indicated. You should know that the lines must not cross each other. Look at how they label this straight line horizontally. This is how you are supposed to label your words, your specimen or any specimen given to you horizontally. I hope that is clear. All right. Specimen F, crayfish. Specimen G, grasshopper. These are the likely questions you might see under specimen F and G. Number one, identify specimen F and G without reason. That means F is crayfish and G is what? Grasshopper. Number two, state the habitat of specimen G and F. Specimen F, freshwater or moody substrate. Specimen G, farmland or grassland. Question 3. State the modes of nutrition of specimen F and G. Answer. For specimen F, it is omnivores, that is scavengers. Then specimen G is what? Heterotrophic nutrition. Alright. Question 4. Explain how each of the specimen F and G are adapted to their mode of what? To their mode of feeding. Answer. Specimen F has Charlie for capturing prey, tearing food and defending prey. Specimen G has mandible for what? Cutting. Question 5. Briefly describe the relationship that exists among specimen E, F and G. Answer. They, are all, they all belong to the group of phylum of arthropoda, characterized by having a segmented body. Specimen H, Pumeris of a rabbit. The first question you might see under this specimen is this. Identify specimen H without reason. Answer, Pumeris of a rabbit. Number two, give two physical features of specimen H. Answer, number one, the head fits into the shoulder joint. Number two, the shaft is long and cylindrical. Number three, the condyle articulates surface at the elbow. Next question, state the functions of specimen H. Answer, number one, it supports arm movement. Number two, it provides attachment point for muscles. Number three, it forms joints. Candidates, take note. Specimen I, femur of a rabbit. The likely questions you might see under these specimens are Number one, list four observable features of specimen I. Look at the answers. Number one, the structure is a long shaft with 
a round head at one end. Number two, the head has a short neck. Number three, there is the presence of the great trachanta and lesser trachanta. Number four, number four, there is the presence of petalar groove and condyle. Let's look at the next question. Say the functions of specimen I. Number one, it supports the upper leg. Number two, it is used for the formation of red blood cells and erythrocytes. Number three, it is found in the cell of the bone marrow. Number four, it provides articulating surfaces for the tibia. Number five, it forms ball and socket joint with the pelvic giddle. Number six, the patella groove articulates with the patella. All right, so you may be asked to do a rough sketch or the anterior view of a femur. So try to learn how to do that sketch. All right, let's proceed. Study the following specimen. Specimen J, orange fruit. Specimen K, honey bee. Specimen L, land snail. Specimen M, guava fruit. Now, am I likely going to see these questions under this specimen? So number one is this. State the similarities between specimen J and M, which is orange fruit and guava fruit. Then the answer is this. Number one, they are perennial crops. Number, number two, both fruits develop from flowers. Number three, both have azel plantation. Number four, both have seeds. So look at the next question. Question 2. State their mode of dispersal. Answer. Human and animals. If you are joining this channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. Identify specimen K and L. Answer. Specimen K is a honey bee. Specimen L is land snail. Question 2. Name the phylum of specimen K and L. Answer. Specimen K is Arthropoda, while specimen L is Mollusca. Question 3. State the reasons for your answer in A above. For specimen K, it has presence of gentled lens. Specimen K also has presence of chitinous exoskeleton. Specimen L, it has a soft... Specimen L has a soft, uncemented body and also it has muscular foot for movement. So these are the reason why we classify this as what well, Atropoda and Mollusca. Candidate, take note. Question 4. Name the structure on specimen L and K that are used for defense. Answer. For specimen K is B sting. For specimen L is now shell. Question 5. State one habitat for each of specimens K and L. An answer. For specimen K, it lives in the hive, but for specimen L, it lives in the garden or forest. Question 6. State two ways in which each of the specimens K and L are of economic importance. Answer. For specimen K, it pollinates flowers and plants. It produces honey. It is a source of income. Specimen N and O. Number one. Identify specimen N and O without reason. Answer. Specimen N. Irish potato tuber. Specimen O. Swiss potato tuber. I may be asked to state the differences and similarities between both of them. Okay, now, in the differences, number one is appearance, number two is the taste, number three is nutrition, and number four is classification. Okay, then the similarities between these two specimens, one, both are root vegetables, two, rich in carbohydrates, three, Versatile in cooking, 
and four nutrient rich thank you so much for watching and sticking to the end of this class please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to get notified each time i post videos and lastly do not forget to share so that other students are preparing for this same forthcoming exam can see it and learn from there see you next time in my next class bye for now